ash clouds were moving to the southwest, away from the island's international airport, which remained open, said Disaster Agency spokesman Sudapo Purwal Nugroho. The volcano's alert status has not been increased from the second highest level. Australian airline Jetstar cancelled nine flights to or from Bali Saturday evening and said it was delaying several Sunday flights to give more time to monitor the situation. Sudapo said that in total, eight international flights to and 13 departing from Bali were cancelled. He said about 2,000 passengers were stranded at the airport. The volcano's last major eruption in 1963 killed about 1,100 people. Authorities say anyone still in the exclusion zone around the volcano, which extends 7.5 kilometers (4.5 miles) from the crater in places, should leave the area. About 25,000 people have been unable to return to their homes since September, when Agung showed signs of activity for the first time in more than half a century. Indonesia sits on the Pacific Ring of Fire and has more than 120 active volcanoes.